It is ATL Day Ones with Jarvis and Tanitra. Yes. I don't know about you, but I really just want to say I appreciate the viewers. You know, they've been really, really supporting us so far, like as far as Locked, Locked On Sports Atlanta as a whole and mm -hmm. ATL Day Ones with, with Jarvis and Tanitra. They've been liking, they've been subscribing. But guess what, y'all? I'm going to continue to ask for more. Like yes. and subscribe. Locked On Sports Atlanta. It's like a big old mall. You can come in there. You can get A to Z with Mark Steno. You can get mm -hmm. Hidden Park with John Chuckery. And you can get us. Like, we know you love us. I like you yeah. love us. You know, in my Snoop Dogg voice. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you follow, also follow, on, follow us on all audio platforms because we're on every last one of them. Make sure you go do that and download these episodes because, hey, we're going to give you this heat every yes. single day so yeah uh -huh. i appreciate you You're doing it but hey let's keep doing it let's keep this thing rolling let's keep this train moving because we're trying to do some big things over here at locked on sports atlanta mm -hmm. team speaking of you know atlanta you know the culture you know this is for the culture and you know you have had some experiences in the past few days that we talked about on yesterday's show go check that out so you can catch up. Like you can't miss anything on this show because it's, it's like a, t a sitcom. Like you miss <laughs> something, you're gonna get lost. So go back and watch and check us out and come back and um, check us out on this one. So you know, yesterday you talked about how you had some interaction with some some grown men, and uh, they said instead of asking for your phone number, they asked for you to follow them. Like what's up with that? Right. So. Interestingly enough, one was at a an event, right? A right. concert, if you will. The other was at the gym. So with the concert, standing there and just interacting, you know, I'll talk to anybody who is going to engage me or vice versa. If they want to talk to me, I'll definitely talk to them. So we're having this conversation between songs or between sets, if you will. But, you know, once the the, uh, the concert started once new edition got on stage it's like okay look man i got routines to do okay i got I'm, i've been i've been waiting on this like for years all six right, right? right and so he's continuing to talk and like you know in my face and that sort of thing and so he did now this one did ask for my phone number and i was like oh you know i really don't i don't really give it out but for whatever reason okay fine here take it that's fine but yeah. Then he goes, so tell me, you know, what, what's your IG handle? Because I want to go ahead and follow you on IG and maybe I can. And then he started talking about, and you know, at that point, I just tapped out. <laughs> so I was like, I don't understand. Like, that's where we're supposed to start our conversation. Like, right, in the DM, right, right. this is confusing. So right. fast forward and I was like, sure, maybe that's a one off. Except I went to the gym two days later. And we're, we got this, you know, the hydro massage beds or whatever at Planet Fitness. And so I'm like trying to hop off and get get on to the next thing. And this guy says, hey, you know, and so, so he starts talking about which Planet Fitnesses we go to and blah, blah, blah. And as I'm leaving the conversation, he's like, hey, um, can I get your IG so maybe, you know, we can talk and I can follow you and maybe we can talk about doing brunch or lunch. Am I not standing right here in front of you? Not that I was going to give you my number, but it's right. the principle of the fact that you confused me because you didn't ask for it. Right. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Jarvis, you said conversations take place, things place take place differently these days. School your girl. Because I'm going to I look at it like this. Nobody really talks on the phone anymore. So I it's, guess it's kind of... Really? Yeah, like, no, I don't think so. I mean... I so you guys... You and the missus did not talk on the phone. Oh, yes, no doubt. No, we had kind of, but, you but know, these days, kind of like an anomaly when it comes to this whole dating thing. You have my wife and I got together, you know, we okay, so we we'll, we'll, leave, okay, so we'll leave the exception to the rule alone. <laughs> we, got keep going, keep we, got, we got to know each yeah. other, we got to know each other before we got married. You no, know, it's just like it was kind of like old, you school. dated. Yeah, yeah, we dated. yeah, we really dated. We got to know each yeah. other, we found out about each other's parents and stuff. And, yeah. You know, we, we met each concept. other's families and things before we decided to get married. Like, yeah, you know, I think we date for about a year and a half, almost two years. So I think, mm -hmm. but I don't think people just built like that. I don't think people got time for that. I don't think, you know, I think it's just a matter of, I guess, but on the other side, let me, let me, let me, let me try to help the brothers out, you know, 
let me help the brothers out, T. I'm gonna see if I can try to help the brothers out. You know, I, I'm always, uh, you know, pound the table for my for my guys, and you know, get right and get linked up with some good women. You know, <laughs> I, I think it's just a matter of people don't want. They feel like it's an invasion of privacy. I know that kind of sounds weird. You know, asking for your phone number. So you know, without so not asking for your phone number may turn into like, okay, well, let me ask for a social media account because you can kind of control that, right? If you give somebody your phone number, they still have your phone number. So if you want to, I guess I don't think it's working, but um, <laughs> if you want to maybe you know get rid of the guy, all you can do is all you gotta do is just block them on social media and you'll be done with them instead of him actually having your phone, real live phone number where you can there's ways you can oh I can block you on that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's it, you know. If I want to, I, I, I mean, mean, I want to, but, but it's a I very mean, interesting concept. So I am listening and, and receiving the rationale that you're giving. And, and it, those, those rationales could be very viable. Something, right. to, something to think about because right, right. you're right. We are living in a different day and age, a different day and time and people move differently. So yeah. because they're moving differently in all aspects of their lives, maybe they're moving a little bit differently in this space too. It was just new to me that I'm standing in your face and the options that you went forward to DM me while you're asking me to go to brunch, lunch, dinner, what have you. And you're not just asking for the phone number so we can you know, have a conversation or, or talk or whatever. It was just interesting. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Now yeah. I know. Yeah, you know, but you know, wanna, you, yeah, you move differently when you have knowledge. So yeah, you don't want to invade too much, I guess. I guess that's kind of how they look out. But I think now there's one thing that I have to question you about now. Now, you said you you say you're having a conversation with some people, you know, some colleagues about how you like the drinks. Yeah. And the one thing you said it, it kind of threw me off a little bit. Now you say you don't like your drinks flat, your soda's flat. See, yes. I do like them semi flat, semi flat. Okay. Right. Yes, yes. So, and it's funny because I'm thinking, okay, I really shouldn't be talking about soda right now or drinking soda because I'm going to the acupuncturist and I'm supposed to really drink water before, yeah. during, and after acupuncture. So, acupuncture is a good look, by the way. But anyway, yeah, yeah when I drink like my Sprite, I get a Sprite at State Farm because they don't have any non carbonated beverages. Mm -hmm. I put my ice deep in my cup. And I leave it in the media room and then I go off and do what I'm going to do. My pregame hit for the Hawks, so on and so forth. And then I come back and it's just slightly watered down because I just don't like that burn. I don't like that burn. That's too much for me. So it's just slightly, slightly flat oh. as opposed to the strong, strong. Now, that's very interesting uh, because, you know, I don't really drink sodas now because I'm trying to watch my figure. You know, trying yeah. to, you know I'm turning 40 this year, so. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready to take my shirt off for the summer. You know, that, that's, 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 my, that's my goal in life. I can't drink sodas, but when I did drink sodas, I like things strong. I need it. I'm talking about as soon as you pop that can, you that like that, that's, that's, that lets me know. And that bad boy cold, it just lets me know that, hey, it's on and popping. I'm ready to get this thing going. But the semi flat, though, okay. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, you know what? Speaking of getting going and speaking of on and popping, hopefully the Braves get it going tonight and we'll talk to you guys about a win, getting a dub in that yes. opening day game. So we'll definitely talk to you guys about that tomorrow. We'll be watching to see what happens with Tiger and we'll also look into previewing Hawks Heat and talk about the game's today that have ramifications or tonight that have ramifications on the Hawks bid to not just get into the play in but possibly to host the game. So as always, we appreciate you stopping by ATL day ones come back tomorrow and we'll talk again. See ya. We'll see you tomorrow. Please come back. <laughs>